So this is just an update to the video I did the day after my surgery. So now this is two weeks later. And um, as you can see, uh, the eye is really healed quite a bit and I don't have as much redness. And um, at this distance, which is about that far or whatever, I don't even know if you can see that, um, I can see single vision, but it's also really difficult to look at things as close, I guess. <laughs> um, so um, I basically, if I wear my glasses, I at this stage still have double vision at most angles. Um, and it gets sort of worse as I sit at a computer. And so I can actually get them to line up if I look at it from sort of this angle. So it's kind of like there's a little narrow sort of slice where they kind of line up. Um, so it turns out, well, these are old glasses, um, but it turns out the other glasses I was wearing more recently were so far off in the prescription that they may have been maybe causing more problems with them getting together. So I'm getting new glasses, and so hopefully that will help, but apparently they had trouble getting in the lenses, so they're not, they're not going to be prisms. I tried to see the orthoptist about getting a prism. Um, but my eye's not settled. Um, one interesting thing is the eye test I had on Tuesday at the optometrist uh, checked, and now I have a vertical misalignment as well as the horizontal, I guess. <laughs> so, um, but when the test was happening, what was interesting is that um, this, the one for my right eye, I don't know, well, anyway, the red one, I guess, was moving a lot, and... Um, I thought my head was moving, uh, and the optometrist said, no, that's your eye muscle trying to move. So I think that, the, you know, you know, even as I, if I try and straighten my head, my, my right eye moves a lot. <laughs> um, so what, um, I think it's really confusing. So, um, what they're, what they've done with this prescription is that um, my orthoptist recommended that I get a prescription. So right now, if I'm looking at the screen, for example, uh, the text is blurry. So what they're going to do for the prescription, basically, is give me two. One for reading at a distance that is equal to how far I'm sitting away from the screen, which is almost arm's length, and, um, and another one for seeing further away. So what that's going to do is remove any need for my my eyes to actually accommodate. And I just learned about this. Your actual lens on the top of your eye sort of gets pulled so it stretches and gets more or less convex and concave, I guess. Um, so it means my eye, my iris, or not my iris, sorry, my lens won't have to do that because that's actually where I'm getting the crossed eyes from is when my eyes try and do that, they also swing in. So, um, you know, whichever one it is. So now it's definitely, I feel like that's the smartest thing anyone's ever told me. I wish that someone had told me that maybe two or three years ago when I started, you know, noticing my eyes getting tired and seeing double vision starting. I mean, who knows, you know, that, that would have helped, you know, at least delay this, whatever it is. Um, as it is, uh, just in terms of the double vision, it's, I think it's gotten better, definitely. I can tell it's gotten way better in the last two weeks. Um, and the orthoptist actually showed me that on the scale, the double, like the prism scale, there's like different widths of prism and they kind of bring it up and down like this on your face and sort of try and figure out how, you know, how much, what strength of prism you need. So, um, Basically, I was 40 diopters. I actually didn't even realize that. And um, now I'm more like 20. So although I probably will have a prism, it, before I had to have a plastic one stuck on my glasses, and now I can probably get it ground into the lens, which is really good. Anyway, um, as it is, <laughs> it's actually really, having the double vision is very confusing. Um, I find that... Uh, you know, everything's really jumbled. Um, if you're watching this and you also have double vision, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, I put a full glass of water in the cupboard the other day. I had to call my husband to ask him 
how to, um, you know, get the key out of the door because I couldn't remember. <laughs> I like have gotten lost. I've gotten like, you know, forgetting things and it's really hard to concentrate. And that's beside the fact that my job involves sitting in front of a computer all day. Um, so when your eyes are kind of moving around a lot, it's very difficult. Um, so anyway, I can sit here like this for a little while, <laughs> um, but I actually can't really even read the text um, in front of me, even if I do, it still goes uh, strange. So as it is, um, I, I think what's going to happen is the new glasses are going to help a lot. And, um, I did actually have a moment after, say like a week after the surgery where I saw everything click together and I was just amazed. I just thought it was really amazing. I've, <laughs> we have a mirror down the side of our bedroom and it actually looked like I was in a hotel room with two beds and four lights because it looked like a really big room. So I was like, oh my God, I get the whole thing about, you know, mirrors are, you know, an illusion of space. Um, and then when I went to the orthoptist, she actually did test and discovered that I had stereoscopic vision, which I was... I always, I thought I did, but I'm, I didn't know. I would, anyway, I didn't pass the test before. And this time, you know, she showed me these kind of cards with um, black and white images, little things like a car and a, a moon and a dog howling or whatever. And so um, I was able to detect these things. And then she said, was really quite pleased and I was quite pleased. So, um, and I credit that to <laughs> the surgery, of course, but that moment I had, um, it was almost like my eyes were really tired and they were relaxed. And then I was, you know, things sort of clicked together, but I feel like I kind of learned it by playing this Nintendo 3DS. So this is kind of turning into a Nintendo 3DS ad. Um, my husband got me this for my birthday. And so the week off my surgery, I was playing it, but that particular night, I mean, I've been playing for like I don't know, two, three hours maybe straight, <laughs> I guess. Um, so after I stopped and my eyes were tired, I guess, I was able to see. But the thing I've learned from, from using the DS actually was that in order to see the illusion, um, I had to be able to relax my eyes. Things were a little bit blurry at first. Um, so I had to be able to relax my eyes and they were kind of come together and then sort of click like magnets. I feel like the sensation of having single vision feels like, um, like magnets, but I can only get it at a pretty close distance here. So when they're working together, just like I said, I can, without my glasses on, um, without my glasses and I can sort of see single vision. I can't really work like this though. I'm literally right over the computer, probably putting it on my knees and stuff. It just, isn't working plus yeah I mean my vision is not that sharp anyway so anyway that's just a really long long update <laughs> um anyway I don't know if I haven't seen a lot of other people talk about the whole double vision aspect of it so um I hope it's helpful to anyone else who has similar problems and I should have an update soon I'm gonna go and get the new glasses tomorrow and see how that works and then I have an appointment with the orthoptist or the, the surgeon um, on the 25th. <laughs> All right. So, bye.